Let's try this again. Uh, as you can tell, I'm still traveling. And I'm still in Pennsylvania. But I'm in a different hotel and in a different city. And the reason behind that is the facility where I was last week, uh, they had some issues with one of their homegrown softwares and Windows 10 compatibility. So I spent all week there you know, trying to get things to work on my end and couldn't do proper testing because things didn't work properly. So determined on Friday that uh, I wasn't going to be there last week or this week because of the issues wouldn't, weren't going to be resolved. So the project manager notifies my boss and uh, my boss messages me a few minutes later and says, hey, have you, have you changed your travel arrangements yet? Have you changed your flights? I said, no, I, I haven't changed anything. I'm working on a couple things, so you know, I haven't done a chance to change anything. He's like, all right, don't, don't change anything yet. All right, so in my head, from reading emails and everything else, I knew that something was happening down here in Philadelphia, where I'm at right now, kind of. Um, I thought, he's going to see me in Philadelphia to go to these various facilities to kind of help out, which is what he did, and it's, you know, perfectly fine, not a big deal. And so I'm like, all right, I prepared for it, so I know what's happening. I apologize, my, ca my camera is not going to stay in my mouth properly today. I've already tried, <laughs> this is like the third or fourth time I've tried recording this. But anyway. He comes to me and says, all right, here's the plan. Monday, you're going to, you're going to this one facility. Tuesday, Wednesday, you'll be this other facility. Thursday, you'll be in this other facility and can and just fly home Friday morning like you already planned. I'm like, all right, cool, not a big deal. So Saturday, I have a friend that lives in Williamsport, which is like an hour away from where I was. So I just, I drove to Williamsport to hang out with uh, this friend I had seen for almost a year. So that was my Saturday. It was great to see him. We hung out, had dinner. It was just good to hang out, as a, you know, hang out with a friend while I'm on the road. Then Sunday, I drove two hours south to go to Chambersburg. Because also in my video last week, I mentioned I hadn't, I grew up there at least uh, second through fifth grade. Um, and I hadn't been back in almost 30 years. So I figured, you know, when am I gonna be this close again? And have an opportunity to go back to the town where I kind of grew up. And my parents went back once, but that was probably 20 years ago, something like that. I mean, we were still semi-freshly gone. Um, so I figured I'm gonna make the drive. So, you know, I, I drove down the two hours. Um, looked up my elementary school by address and went to my elementary school. Now, like, <laughs> the outside hasn't changed at all, hardly at all. Uh, I mean, the playground, I'm sure they have new playground equipment, but like the playground, as soon as I worked on the, the back of the school and saw that playground, flood of memories just came right back in. Hadn't, that I hadn't thought about in almost 30 years. And, uh, you know, it was a nice little trip down memory lane. So I thought, all right, I'm going to go see if the home where we lived is still there. And the home... Um, was right next to right in front of a fish hatchery off of a major road and the fish hatchery sat behind uh, the house ah got this really wet this would be a jeffrey smith lather almost maybe i've got too much water so 
So, you know, I looked up the fish hatchery on, the, on my phone to see where it was, from the elementary school, and uh, drove the fish hatchery. And the home where we lived is no longer there. It's now just an empty, vacant lot. So, you know, that was a little uh, heartbreaking. And then your childhood home is gone. Uh, but, so I walked around, the, walked around. So the home, you know, the freeway's here. You know, this, this is the freeway. This is a major road. Uh, the home was like right here. And then right here was a wooded area and then the fish hatchery. Uh, so I drove down the fish hatchery and kind of walked around there a little bit. I walked down the woods or what was left of the woods, those were mostly gone. I shouldn't say woods, wooded area. And uh, I spent a lot of time in my youth playing in that wooded area. A lot of, many, many, many hours in those woods with friends by myself, just tons of time. And it was heartbreaking to, to see how it's changed they built an empty lot, it looks like there was something there. They built a wall, a retaining wall, because uh, the there's a home here, you went down a little bit, and there's another home here. And they were turned into apartments, and uh, we lived in the back home. And to the side, if I went outside, to the side yard, uh, there was um, a hill that had a rope swing attached to it, or a rope swing attached to a tree. So I could go and play in this rope swing which I did quite frequently. Oh, that's gone. Now it's just this vacant gravel semi-paved lot and the tree's gone and everything is gone. It's unrecognizable. I drove up, up the road is um, where I went to church. So I, uh, you know, hopped on the, the main road again and drove up and went to the, my old church. And surprisingly, there's a congregation in there. Uh, they were holding their, uh, you know, they're still they were holding services. So I mean, I was in the jeans and jeans and a t-shirt. I wasn't prepared to uh, attend services on Sunday. But one of the gentlemen from the congregation invited me in very nicely. So I went inside and um, and and finished the last half an hour of Sunday service which was fantastic. I wasn't planning on that. I, I enjoyed that very much. We had a great conversation. So, you know, I did that. Uh, and on the way up, heading towards the church on this main road, um, I had a friend that lived on that road as well, on the main road, and his family owned a Greek restaurant. And I, as soon as I was coming up to it, I knew where it was. And uh, sadly enough, the building's still there, but the, um, the restaurant's gone. So the Greek restaurant's no longer there either. Which kind of surprises me a little bit. I mean, he had, he was, of course my friends, you know, my age, we went to school together, we had classes together. He has a younger sister. I thought for sure one of them would take over running the restaurant. But no, it's, uh, it's just gone. There was some other type of restaurant there. I didn't even know what food that was, but it wasn't Greek. It wasn't my friend's restaurant from back in the day. But uh, yes, yeah, so that was interesting. Um, then after that, you know, I finished up my time. I went. To, I finished up the the church services in my old area, my old congregation. Or the one of the congregations. There's a few congregations that meet um, in that particular building. Uh, this was this was the second congregation. I went in there and finished up Sunday service there. And then uh, I had to go to the to a store and get some. 
paper for my notebook for work this week. So I stopped in the store there and uh, then made the roughly three hour drive or so up to Philadelphia. And I stayed in a hotel that I stayed in before because I've been in this area a few times. You know, so I stayed in the hotel. I got to my hotel, ordered food, went to the first facility on Monday. No problem. Not, not, yesterday, today's Tuesday. That day filming you'll probably see this uh, Wednesday or later. But I get there, you know, so I, I do my thing on Monday. I check out of the hotel Monday morning and and uh, go to the main facility. And then last night I leave. It takes me an hour to get to the other side of Philadelphia to so I can meet the other two facilities. And then my hotel is half an hour away with traffic from the other two facilities. And they're, they're side by side, so I figured, you know, this one hotel, I'll be able to hit both and they'll be fine. Only problem is I get in today and the two people with whom I'm supposed to be working, one of them is out. Was out sick, so you know that sucks. I'm like, all right, you know, not a problem. I can work with the other person. They come in a little bit later this morning. Be here tomorrow for them. No big deal. You can still uh, make this work. And then I found out that they're not even using our software today because they're still far behind. They're trying to get caught up. So I was then asked to go back to the main hospital where I was yesterday hour away with, with traffic. Only half an hour without traffic. So, you know, no big deal. Uh, yeah, I can do that. So I get in the car and drive back to the main facility. I have another co-worker at that main facility. Um, he's the one that's scheduled to be here this week. And I was supposed to be still from Bloomsburg. And I'm just kind of a bonus person at this point. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I can head back there. No big deal. So I get there, and you know I'm thinking, hey, I'm gonna go back to the other facilities uh, the rest of the week, doing a big deal. So I didn't think about changing hotels. Because if I need to be there tomorrow morning, it's an hour drive with traffic. But day's almost over, get a message. Hey, so-and-so's out with the flu. Um, they're not gonna be in the rest of the week. So the other people, the other person that you're gonna be working with says they're good, don't need any assistance this week, so can you go back to the main facility the rest of the week? I'm like, yeah, not a problem. I'm not changing hotels for one night because I can't check out of this hotel today. It was too late. I'm going there tomorrow and Thursday and I'm flying home Friday morning. Like, yeah, I can do that. I just, I don't want, I'm not changing hotels. So, And the people like, hey, you know, that's fine. I don't blame you. Um, just basically get in when you can, which, you know, knowing the PM was, you don't need to be there right at, for, you know, first thing in the morning, but don't uh, abuse that and <laughs> make sure you get there a decent time. Which is my plan of doing anyway. So now, rather than being in this hotel for two nights, another hotel for one night, and I'm flying home Friday morning, so I don't need to, I'm in a different hotel, which is closer to the airport. I do want to check out this one tonight, or tomorrow morning, to go to one hotel for one night, and then change hotels again. It's just not worth it to me. So I'm just going to stay in this hotel, and uh, call it good. And I fly home Friday morning. So, you know, just kind of roll with it. It is what it is. No big deal. I'm just glad they let me stay in this hotel. 
and weren't say and weren't be like, no, we need to change hotels or get there at eight o'clock and or get there at eight, you know, whatever. I gotta say, I work for a great company and they're very understanding. And stuff like this happens. And it's stuff that's beyond your control, right? So, it's kind of roll with it. Not a big deal. But yeah, I, you know, so it took me half an hour to get to the one facility this morning. Sat there until about lunchtime. Went to their facility. Didn't wasn't able to get food on the way like I thought I would, which kind of sucks. So I got there and did a couple things. Didn't end up eating until like two thirty. There you go. So my quick shave this evening. Maybe this blade's starting to die. It shouldn't be. It's just, it's just a still pretty new blade. Don't know what's going on. It struggles. Or it seems like it struggles. Especially in the chin area. Like, I had really dark 5 o'clock shadow today. It's also lighting in this bathroom sucks. Person not using the dovo. All right, we'll call that good. Anyway, so yeah, um, I don't think I talked about the gear on, <laughs> on this take, take number or whatever it is. Um, but the soap I used is Maggard's Limes and Bergamot. I guess I gotta try to figure this out. Um, if I have any left, I don't have them looked in the bottom of the bowl. The razor, of course, Starling. It's, I only had the two razors with me this week, the Starling and the Dovo. Uh, the brush was the ever-present, when I travel, uh, Craving Shaving Chop Chop Travel Brush with the 26 mil Duro. The bowl was my beautiful, collapsible Sterling bowl. Uh, hey, there's still soap in here. Definitely added more, too much water, because you can see it's kind of puppety. But anyway, Trying to keep this relatively short, under 19 minutes. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you to all my subscribers. I finally hit the 100 subscriber mark. Uh, let's see if we can at least keep around that mark here. And I'm, I'm gonna make the 19 minute mark under 19 minutes. So again, thank you guys for tuning in and I will catch you guys in another episode next week.